Hey everyone, it's Adventure Link here. How's it going? Well, I got another fine product from Fisca, Fisca, however you pronounce that. Bought it from Amazon, as you can see. Today we got their RC self-service buffet car. It pretty much just looks like any other mobile food truck. Here's the instructions and all that. It's pretty much the same as the RC rock hauler that I had. Good product. Let's see how well this stacks up. And just so you know, this appears to take the same... Um, Extension battery that I posted for the um, Fisca RC car uh, rock crawler. I'm going to post the video, the link to this uh, buffet truck and the expansion pack for the battery in the video description. And you get a nice little carrying handle, so that's cool. The Urban Traffic Series. Oh, they even got a bus on here and a train. And a school bus. I'd definitely like to go try these out for sure. But enough side notes. Let's get to the unboxing. Um, first thing you want to do is um, there's tape, one here, and uh, there's a tape normally over here, but I uh, kind of screwed up on a film because the camera was being slow as heck and was dying out. So I'm going to finish the job over here. It's not that difficult, really. It's just a piece of tape that holds an end, one, one on each side. As I peel this back, if it will be, is or was your birthday, then congratulations, happy birthday, make it a good one. Um... Thanks in advance for your support of me and my channel, be it by watching this and other videos that I put up here on YouTube, sharing with your friends, family, and anyone else that would get into my subjects, embedding it in your blog, website, all that good stuff. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. It helps to tell YouTube if I'm doing a good job or not. Boost the telemetry, video awareness, engagements, uh, makes it more noticeable in YouTube, Google, and other search engines. If you hit the subscribe button, you can see the new videos that throw up on YouTube, either in your weekly YouTube email and or in your news feed. Don't forget to hit that bell now. Hit the bell, and you can see any new videos I put up on YouTube. And, of course, you know, you, and before I go any farther, of course, you just unpeel the tape, undo the box. There it is. Now, it should be pretty much just like the other one. If, of course, I could clear this flap over, just like so. And as I was saying, last but not least, well, the instructions went on the floor. <laughs> but, last but not least, if you could donate to my, my medical bills, they're also in the video description. I would appreciate that. Any amount helps out, of course. The links will be in the video description, like I said. And as Gaines from the Grave would say, it helps to keep this channel and myself alive and undead. So, as you can see, we got the um, controller here. It's pretty Fairly simple controller, up, down, left, right, there's a horn. One or two other things that I forgot what it does right now. There's a, some play money up here. You're supposed to put the play money inside the coin slot, and that makes the food items pop up, and you can pick one. And you can pick one as you put the money in the, in the machine. And of course, right where my foot is, is the instructions. <laughs> oh yeah, for anyone that was wondering, this is where the batteries are kept in the box. Take your screwdriver or a knife or something, rip this piece of tape up, open up like so. Yay, we get all the batteries. See, there's a battery, and there's the uh, charge cord. And just so you know, batteries are not included, so you will have to buy batteries for the remote. This is pretty much it for the unboxing here. And just so you know, just like with the Fisca Rock Crawler, they had to screw this down to the box too, so you will need a Phillips head screwdriver for this. So, I'm going to do that off cam and get this unboxed. And here's a manual. It's a fairly simple manual. It's just one page, one front, one back. I'm going to flip it over now. If you want to read through it, feel free to pause the video so you can read each side. Okay, so for battery installation, this is where the battery compartment is. Simply uh, put your screw, put the Phillips head screw in here. Turn it all the way until you can't make it turn anymore. Tap. Toss the screw to the side so that way you don't lose it. Then from there, push back the, on the open door button. Or switch rather on the on the truck. I think you should be able to open the door. Boom, we're inside. Now here's the electrical connector for the battery. Unfortunately, they really don't give you too much room with this battery cord here. But this is pretty much where you put the battery in. Align it, you know, for uh, 
positive to positive, negative to negative. I mean, I find a clue here on this thing, see how this goes. Right, then it should go something like this, if I can hold it still here. There, it's in. Then you just tuck the electrical connector down inside, down in the groove. And before I do close this out, just so you know, this is a 4.8 volt, 300 milliamp hour NICAD battery. So, this I let you know that. Close the door. Screw it back in. And as you can see, this is the uh, charge cord for the truck battery. It's a 5 volt, 2 amp input. Output's at 4.8 volts, 250 milliamps. So, just put it into your any 2 amp charging block or multi tap USB port connector thing. For putting your computer, that's fine too. Either, either way, as long as, um, and as, long as the uh, block or computer or whatever outputs two amps, plug this in and plug the uh, battery down here, and you should be good to go. Okay, now for the bat for the remote control battery. It's a another Phillips head screw like this. You hold it down. It would help if I got it in there. I'll keep slipping out, but. Basically, you get the idea. Just uh, put this, undo the screw right here. If it'll go, that is. I don't strip it. There, I was doing it wrong. Take it out just like that. Then open the controller up. And there's your battery compartment. It takes two AA batteries. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, we got the uh, Nikehead battery out of the uh, Fisker Rock Roller. As you can see, it still connects fine. And you can now see that the cord's a little longer now because I had to go inside and play around with the length of the cord. And it's longer now. Yay! Additionally, um, it still works too. See? See, it's lighting up. Now I've got to stuff the battery back in, that, back in the hole here. Close the door. And, um... Turn this over. Now before I go further and show this off, there's uh, three coins that you get in the pack, like I showed before, there they are. What you're supposed to do with the coins is that you're supposed to put it in this coin slot and then it makes a noise. If I could actually get it in the coin slot first. So yeah, it's a coin slot that goes in here. Or maybe it needs a remote to turn on. Try it, try it like that. Alright, now we'll put the coin in and try again with the remote on and I booted the car up. Okay, now I see how it goes. And that's pretty much how it goes. Now, as you can see, it shows off a, pl a plastic hamburger, fries, and a Coke, but there's a hamburger, fries, and coke on the menu, but what happened to the ham? What happened to the pizza and the ice cream? Yeah, that's false advertising, there, man. Additionally, these are a hundred uh, piece coins. What I'm guessing is these are like hundred piece yet fake yen coins because it is, you know, yen here. But on the other hand, too, you know, you, as you can see, the pizza costs two hundred and the ice cream costs fifty. I'm gonna make this shut up. Shut up. Thank you. As I was saying, you know, as you can see, the pizza costs 200 yen, the ice cream costs 50 yen, but I'm going to guess that these are, you know, 100, 100 fake 100 yen piece coins here. So, well, still, that's still a false advertising there, man. You have hamburgers, fries, and a drink, but no pizza and ice cream. What happened? No, oh, well, just put it down, put the coin in. Hamburg. How about 
Great, I already ordered all three of these items, and it doesn't recognize that I've already ordered the hamburger. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, well, nice uh, design improvement for next time, I guess. And as you can see, the uh, yen pieces, you know, end up in the back of the truck here. And, it, and the back of the truck does fold up and down like that. Up, that's down. Now, if I could actually make it go up, that'd be great. I'm going to have to turn it around make it stop moving. There. See? Open. Closed. Open, right, closed. And I'm going to show this off briefly here on the table. Yep, as you can see, that's still my Fisca rock crawler battery, and it's going up and back fine. As you can see, it steers fine. So there's that. That's the end of that with the table here. Now I'll actually scoot over here and uh, show this off on the floor. The range is supposedly like over four, like over 490 feet. Oh, there goes all the coin pieces. As you can see, it's pretty responsive and and goes back and forth nice and smoothly. Yep, goes over to hop back over here. Now check this out. What we have here is a modified to a, a Fisca RC car battery. But it's the same thing that goes in the truck and in this food truck. As you can see, this is connected to here to a little USB uh, power bank, you know, meant for charging cell phones and all that. And it's working. <laughs> I kid you not, this thing's working. I kid you not, this thing's working. And the funny thing is, is that check this out. This is supposed to be fast food of the day. It's actually fitting that the battery pack I used has a McDonald's logo on it. <laughs> That's pretty fitting in my opinion. And it actually does work. Like I said, I showed it off. Now I'm going to show it off again because I can. Because this is my YouTube channel. Well, it would help if I closed the door first. I gotta wrap this back here. Close the door now. There, this will work for now, I guess. That works. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing, what you are seeing right now, seriously, no joke. There's a McDonald's battery here powering a fast food mobile truck. I kid you not. Alright, so that's enough of this uh, showing off of this uh, RC food truck here. So I'm going to close this off and give my review of it. So what can I say about this uh, RC mobile food truck here? Well, it's actually pretty cool. Another, for the most part, fine product from Fisca. 
The only major problem I saw with it was that the uh, power connector for the Switch got uh, broken off either a manufacturing flaw or it happened during shipping. Don't know, don't care, but it was an easy fix. Soldered it back together, tested it out many, many times, and it worked pretty good. Additionally, this uh, takes my uh, RC rock crawler battery, also from Fisca. I don't see why it has any problems with the extended battery pack. Again, I'll put that in the video description. And also, apparently it doesn't have problems with USB power banks either because I just rigged it up and I just showed it off to you. <laughs> it's still very fitting that this is a fast food truck, supposedly, and I'm using a McDonald's branded battery. <laughs> still fitting. Oh well, decent price. Plenty of fun. Good for the kids. Nice, easy, intuitive controls. Has a horn, music button. You can turn off the uh, mobile food lights on and off. I guess other than the manufacturing defect, I don't have really too many bad things to say about that. Of course, the defect could be approved in a future revision, or we'll just talk it up in case of it happens and I fixed it, and we're good to go again. Yay! Also, if we could uh, knock off the false advertising on the side of the on the side of the van here, like that, the pizza and ice cream, which is not there. That'd be great. I would recommend it. Good birthday, good birthday presents. Good for the kids. Originally, I don't see, didn't really see too many things that I could do with RC Cars Adventures with this thing. But I think I've come up with some few ideas. So you may or may not be able to see this in a future video. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this. You may see it in, a few, in future videos. You may not. No, oh well. Nice little car though. And this has been Adventure Link. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for supporting me and my channel. And we're going to close this off as always with the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you all next time. Have a nice day.